Heart attack survivor William Henderson says when he started smoking 50 years ago, he knew little about the health risks. But I smoked uh, through college, uh, and I didn't, I didn't think much about that. Uh, a lot of people smoked at that time. Doctors discovered back in the 1960s that smokers are at a higher risk of heart disease, but now thanks to the results of a new study, we're able to better answer why. Perhaps the link is inflammation then. Perhaps the, the chemicals in tobacco cause inflammation in your system, and we know that, uh, or we're starting to know, that inflammation in the coronary arteries can accelerate the accumulation or collection of cholesterol in the heart arteries. But that's not all they discovered. The researchers found that if a smoker actually quits, the inflammatory markers in the blood fade, and within five years, the risk of heart disease approaches that of a non-smoker. And to me, I think that's a very encouraging and, and very um, concrete way to show someone that they're helping themselves by quitting smoking. Mr. Henderson gave up cigarettes and says he thinks it saved his life. I think if I'd continued to smoke or smoked more that I would have had heart trouble and uh, probably heart attack Thank or difficulties much. much earlier in my life. For Baylor Healthcare System, I'm Dr. David Winter.